Hello everyone, it's Richard Lewis here again with another video and you know what I'm going to be talking about today? One of my favourite topics, you know what it is, it's the Overwatch League, of course it is because a new sponsor has entered into the league, entered into the fray and I think that this sponsor actually demonstrates that all the people that have been telling you that the league is in rude health, never doing better, actually we've got all these big deals on the table and blah blah blah, it's all bullshit. There's so much smoke and mirrors around the Overwatch League and yet headlines like this to me conclusively prove that this league can't be doing as well as suggested. I'll get into why in a moment but let's just look at the headline. Reported on the Esports Observer Great publication if, like me, you're interested in the business side of esports. There's a lot of great stories, actually, that get reported on here that low-key just get ignored. And they're vitally important to kind of what's going on in the, uh, you know, esports landscape. But it's the headline. Guangzhou Charge, which is the Chinese expansion team in the Overwatch League, has signed a three-year sponsorship deal with Herbalife Nutrition. Now, you're going to say, Richard... Her, well, how can a three-year sponsorship deal prove that the league's doing bad? Who are Herbalife Nutrition? Well, first things first, Herbalife Nutrition, they are a uh, multi-level marketing company, right? If you don't know what multi-level marketing is, you can simply go out. I recommend Googling Pyramid Scheme. You'll get to where it needs to be quicker. There was a lot of furor around Pyramid Schemes because they were inherently exploitative uh, uh, of the people that they brought into them and were designed essentially to keep a handful of people at the top wealthy at the expense of other people that were fed a load of bullshit pipe dreams. Um, and because of that, there was investigations and laws brought in in the US, and now you end up with multi-level marketing, where basically it's functionally very similar to a pyramid scheme. Uh, it does just enough to avoid being called that. Uh, Herbalife Nutrition certainly has skirted that line and has certainly been called a pyramid scheme. More on that in a second, but I did say... This is the type of sponsor that proves that they can't be doing well. I don't care how much money's on the table. First of all, if you're a, a franchise, you don't want to be associated with multi-level marketing. Multi-level marketing companies actually exploit young people generally or like housewives or people who are not savvy enough and are essentially vulnerable. You know, that's like a big part of the esports audience, isn't it? Like young people who have an entrepreneurial spirit and want to go out there, make that bread and not have to do a nine or five. They end up getting crushed by these uh, multi-level marketing things that basically bleed them dry and then kick them the fuck out. They're, they're horrendous. So <clears throat> a great ethical concern right off the bat. And why the fuck would you want to be associated with that? But secondly, multi-level marketing companies generally only go where there's quick cash that that's what their model is about it's a cent you know it's, it's it's make as much as you can as quickly as you can and if it happens to last brilliant but if it doesn't no biggie we can just file for insolvency we've got hours and, and, and we get the fuck out the door and no one was contracted because you essentially volunteer and become self-employed you just you buy the products and you sell on behalf of the company and you're meant to recruit other people to sell the products and you take a cut from the products they buy and on and on it goes. Uh, so this is not the type of sponsor you want associated with your league, especially when you consider some of the brands that have been announced in the Overwatch League, uh, it, 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 well, certainly a few years ago. Now, as I said, Herbalife are pretty notorious in the US. They've been investigated by the FTC, the SEC. I think just last year they were accused of bribing Chinese officials to procure licenses to sell in the Chinese market. Uh, they're a company with a very checkered history. And um, there was a great sort of breakdown of some elements of that checkered history uh, done by John Oliver of all people on last week tonight. There's some highlights from that here that you can see for yourself. Well, let's take a look at just one of these companies in depth, Herbalife. You saw its pitch earlier. It was the one that you were supposed to send to 10, 20, 100 people. It sells nutritional supplements like shakes and vitamins, and it's one of the biggest MLMs around with net sales of $4.5 billion last year. Oh. And about those products, in its early days, Herbalife was accused of overstating their health benefits, claiming in the 80s that one product helped relieve everything from venereal disease to tumours to bedwetting. <laughs> and back then, their founder, Mark Hughes, was asked by a Senate subcommittee to answer experts who'd called his diet products into question, and this was his response. I think if they're so expert in weight loss, why were they so fat yesterday? 
It seems to me, and I'm not trying to make any jokes, but I do think that they ought to use our product. First, he seems great. <laughs> but, but second, why would anyone in the 80s take Herbalife to lose weight? They had cocaine. To be fair, that was 30 years ago, and a lot has changed at the company since then. Although, when ABC News filmed some Herbalife distributors just two years ago, they found some claims that seemed to echo the company's past. This Herbalife distributor in New York City told us the story of a woman who overcame an inoperable brain tuber thanks to Herbalife. Whatever it is the product did, it helped her a lot. New recruits were told Herbalife products help to treat heart disease. 24 years ago, I had early congestive heart failure. Nothing worked. And even helped one woman get pregnant. I'm 40 years old. I'm my first pregnant. Well, that is obviously bullshit. People might be making claims like that because they are desperate to move excess product. You see, broadly speaking, under Herbalife's system, uh, distributors can get bonuses and massive discounts on products based on how much they buy, which can be a huge incentive to buy in bulk. Uh, for instance, let's say you're selling Herbalife's disgusting creamy chicken soup powder for $13.35 a box. The cheaper you can buy it from Herbalife, the more profit you could make. But to stay qualified for those higher discounts, you have to keep buying product. And it might not be easy to sell that extra soup because A, it's a little pricey, and B, we actually tried it, and it tastes like the wood shavings inside a gerbil cage. <laughs> and as one former top distributor will tell you, if you are just accumulating product, that can lead to a problem common enough to have a special name. We'd call it garage qualified. They would, uh stack as much product as they can in their garage, and at some point they would realize that they have to quit. So people buy product more than they can, than they can sell. It sits in a garage. What happens? There's got to be an end point here at some point. When they run out of money, uh, there's an end point. Exactly. Now, unfortunately for them, the FTC recently finished a multi-year investigation into the company and filed a blistering complaint, walking right up to the line of outright calling it a pyramid scheme. Uh, they alleged Herbalife's compensation program doesn't incentivize retail sales, but rather the recruiting of additional participants who fuel the enterprise by making wholesale purchases of product, which sounds like, you know, how pyramid schemes work. <laughs> And when people pointed this out, the FTC chair made an amazing statement. It sounds like what you're saying is that this company has all the hallmarks of a pyramid scheme. Isn't that right? You know, our focus isn't on the label. The word pyramid does not appear in our complaint. That is true. They were not determined not to have been a pyramid. Think about what she just said there. <laughs> not determined not to be a pyramid. How is that not a huge warning sign? So there you have it, a pretty damning summary there. And this is the type of sponsor we don't really want anywhere near eSports. You know, we've already got a bunch of dodgy companies and scam artists and liars. We've already got all that going on in eSports without us taking it to the next level just because the Overwatch League is really struggling to bring in credible sponsors. I also got to say, speaking as the guy that exposed the uh, the rule book and put that out there there was all these guidelines about the type of sponsor like individuals and teams could be associated with and so, and, and they apparently the league itself oversees all of the sponsors that come in so this is done with activision blizzard's blessing it really does make me wonder about that chinese connection obviously no one's ever going to say anything to a chinese team to chinese chinese investors activision blizzard obviously full of banned players in the past for expressing support for hong kong they're very much on the chinese money teat and that's not going to change anytime soon but this is ridiculous the the, the type of guidelines that they had in place place about the type of sponsors that were meant to be coming in and this is one of the worst examples of uh, uh just bad practice and, and and terrible reputationally and they've just turned a blind eye because it's for a chinese expansion team and probably it's a lot of money changing hands absolutely ridiculous uh anyway there you go we all get to have another good laugh at the overwatch league their lack of principles and their lack of realistic sponsors um as always 
Thanks to you all for supporting the channel. Thanks for watching the video. Throw a comment down there below laughing at the misfortune of everyone that's paid 20 million to be associated with this continual farce. And uh, thanks for supporting me. Uh, the setup's getting sl better slowly but surely. And there's going to be more videos coming pretty much on a daily basis at this point. So uh, much love to you all. And I'll see you on the next video.